morning. Well, after a decent-ish night's sleep, I do feel a bit better this morning, which is good news. Uh, so today, yeah, I have a lymphedema appointment at the hospice. I've ended up with lymphedema just basically as everyone because my lymphatic system's not in a good way and that's because of the accident, really. So I do have, let's think, my left arm is bigger than my right. My left leg gets very stolen, gets very swollen. That's my longer leg where the amputation is through the ankle joint. And then, yeah, my right thigh which is my above knee amputation gets swollen too so yeah it sort of all got messed up in the accident as did a lot of other things but anyway the therapist I go see is lovely there are two people that run the lymphatic service at the hospice where I go. And I used to go there years and years ago, even before I started going regularly. And I am talking years ago for lymphatic massage to try and ease some of the pain and swelling in my right arm. The, I do have a hospice just five minutes away, but I go to one about 25 minutes away, 25 minutes drive, only because years and years ago when we were looking for somewhere to do some massage for myself. The one just up the road, five minutes away, didn't want to know. So, the one where I go to now, back then, said, yeah, well, you know, we'll see ya. And they even talk my elder brother how to do the massage at home for me we'll point out he didn't live at home <laughs> but he has helped care for me for years now and he actually gave up his job he um, then went off and got a qualification in Indian head massage and things. So I am very lucky because he did all that for me to help relax me. At the time, I was so grateful. My brother used to do Reiki and things for me as well, but he hasn't done Reiki for a few years now. So, like I say, I am very, very lucky that my family and the people around me um, will go out of the way I am lucky that my family 
went above and beyond for me to help make my life as comfortable as it can be. They still do go above and beyond. I am truly fortunate. And then after my appointment, which my appointment's around one, I um, normally go to a craft group on a Friday afternoon at the hospice. Now, I haven't been the last few weeks, so I'm going to try and go today. Like I say, we'll just see how tired I am. If I'm too tired, I won't drive. So it really does depend how I'm feeling as the morning progresses. But yeah, I love going to the craft group Friday afternoon. Such a lovely bunch of people as well that have become friends. And the lady that runs the group, who is also called Jo, has become somebody that I can confide in and talk to, which means a lot. And she's become a friend too. She's lovely. In fact, do you know what? They're all lovely there. They truly are amazing. And I think it takes an amazing person to be able to work in that environment. So I am very blessed. I'm just so grateful of the services that I can access because of the hospice and that's basically come about because they moved me over from neurology to palliative care because my neurologist said to me that you know like drug wise there's not a lot else that they can give me so I've gone to over to palliative care, but it's not a negative thing, it's a positive thing. They manage symptoms, they basically look at the best ways, you know, you can have a brilliant quality of life. So, yeah. That's today, so far. Ah, and also I will show you in the garden. Didn't vlog it, but yesterday evening before bed, Casey came outside with me and we uh, planted some tomato plants. He put some canes in for me to support them and try and resurrect them a bit. So I'll probably show you them this morning. And it is, yeah, the sun is beating down. Still haven't seen no rain. I have come outside and I am going to show you what Casey and I did last night. Now, you might think that these look sick, these plants, but they look a ton better. Oh, look, here he is. My trusty gardening helping hand is out here. I don't know if I'd go that far. Weed whacking, as they say in America, streaming in the UK. Um, and having a tidy, general tidy round. 
I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to plant some solid leaf seeds. And yes, I am in my nightie. I'm half dressed. I'm, yeah, no point getting fully dressed yet. So let me show you these. They're the tomato plants and Casey put some canes up for me to support them. I nipped and got those yesterday. But what I couldn't get was some marigolds. I wanted marigolds to plant with my tomatoes. I will endeavour again today to get them. Oh, look who's here. There they are. <laughs> Very hot. But they've got plenty of shade out here. They've got plenty of cold water down. Um, yeah, let me show you how those strawberry plants are coming on after a few days, or is it about a week? I can't remember when I planted them, to be honest. I know it will be on a vlog. So, they're the strawberry plants. And if we take a good old look, look what I've got. I've got some strawberries coming. My little Dexter spotted it yesterday, but there are quite a few. He did say we've got strawberries coming, Nana. And then <coughs> there's my chilli pepper. That's looking healthy. There's my cucumber. And here, which I have to say, and here, which I have to say is looking a lot better, is that plant that I got reduced that looks very, very sad. So I'm all happy. I'm going to plant those solid leaf seeds. I'm going to plant those solid leaf seeds now. I'll do a little film doing that, then I'll probably have to go back inside and think about getting the rest of me ready. Okay. Let's hope that my lettuce seeds will be healthy and happy. What I'm going to do is I am going to sow some spray onto the container of my raised bed. Get some out. Ah! Silly me. That's why I can't get any out. Because Oh, wasn't expecting that one. Okay. So look now. See what they look like. Oh yeah, I've put a glove on the other hand because um, I'll be scrubbing my nails. Look at those little seeds. Yeah, they're um, solid leaves, so it's just give them a go. That's right. And then I am going to Have a look at these spring onions or scallions, as I say. Not for the Irish in there. 
sorry for the rustling, that's my glove. Well, it wasn't supposed to be as hot at the end of the week, but guess what? It still is boiling here. So let's see what it says. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. I wanted to buy some of these because I actually spend a lot of money on um spring onions. They're not that cheap. So want to have a go at growing them myself. The other thing I've got is corn. I don't know if we're a bit late with that. But anyway. Let's see. It says 15 centimetres apart. But we'll go where the go actually. Um, just because I don't know if I can be that controlled with them. But there we go. There's spring onions. One pull up in the middle of all that. Right. Let's just put these away and then I'll try and sieve some soil over them. Compact them down then and water. Keep meaning to do this and then I end up being too tired so hence why I'm doing it now. Just gonna use a empty plant pot that I've got and I'm gonna pinch some out of um, the other raised bed where I've got nothing planting, planted because it will be here to open the new bag of compost for me and messing with that blessing. It's gone inside for five minutes, it's absolutely red hot. So there we are. Now oh, then. Now you're supposed to say your soil. I don't know if you can see it dropping through, but it's so that it's finer. We need a little bit more. I'll just get a little bit more and then I'll finish sorting it out. Mm. 
Now, I haven't gone and got any quite fine, you know, compost for seeds. I'm just going to use what I've got because that's the whole point. Is there any point? Well, there is a lot of point of growing your own. Um, because you know what's on them, you know it's all damaged. Hopefully. But the thing is, if you start spending and spending tons of money on it, well, you might as well just go out to the shop. the press down. I'm not doing it too heavy or else the seedlings won't be able to get out. Oh yeah it'd be hard for them to come through the top layer of soil. As I have said in all my gardening videos I am no expert. I've got a brother-in-law that is but I'm trying to do as much as I can without his help. Him and my brother are amazing gardeners and they definitely have in, you know, every year they've come, they've started out in the garden, it looks very pretty, but what I wanted to do this year was really try myself. So now I've got Casey to pass me there, so I'm gonna water my seeds. I hope I haven't drowned them because it maybe looks like I have. But anyway, so that's salad leaves and some spring onions planted. Now I need to go back in the house and look at getting myself sorted out. I'm ready to go. So I will update you on what's been happening, what we've done today and things. I'm not sure I can exactly shoot inside the hospice, you know, take any clips, but Anyhow, I will see you all in a little while. Okay, so I just did a shot of the outside of the hospice. I did mean to um, do some more showing you about a bit outside, but I got in the car and realised. So that was that. Um, had a nice afternoon, did some crafts. Um, doing something with wool today and like winding it round some dowling. Four pieces of dowling, but they're in the shape of a cross. An X. Yeah, and it was some really nice um, wind spinners, you know, for trees and things. So that was good. My lymphedema appointment, that was okay too. She's had to re-measure me for, um, you know, like a support sock. But I've lost another six centimetres off the top of my thigh since the last time she measured me, which was um, probably about six weeks ago. So... There we go. I can't see where I've lost it, but apparently I have. So, I'd just like to say good night. And I will see you all in the next vlog.
Take care. Bye.